think what we really aim to achieve is we aim to open up the museum to people. People really feeling that this is their museum, this is somewhere they can bring their families. Our collections are absolutely central to everything we do. They give us ideas, they inform our work, and if we do it well, we animate them and we bring them to life. A very large number of the really important collections are in university museums. This is a, a bird that was collected by Charles Darwin in the Galapagos in September 1835. So both scientifically important and also historically and culturally important. The University Museums community represents about 4% of the total number of museums in the United Kingdom, but a very significant part, representing 30% in fact of all designated and recognised collections. More and more universities are being asked to not only teach academic knowledge but applied knowledge so that students are ready for the workforce. So the research processes are taught but also how you think about things in the real world and how you analyze problems, that's what object-based learning is all about and that's why university museums are so important to universities. You learn, I think, a lot more when you have that touch sensation. And I think a lot of times it's just a lot more exciting. You're seeing something that was actually used. Our universities are always looking to run new courses which bring illumination and excitement to students. Our unique collections allow us to run courses that are truly special. So I've gained a few things from my time volunteering in the Grant Museum. It's allowed me to gain experience in the museum sector, which is not an easy thing to get into. So having a museum attached to my university that I could go volunteer in was really useful. University museums have huge potential in encouraging people to participate in universities and higher education more generally. New media and new technology provide us with a new form of access to the public. There's something about being able to load a digital copy, being able to move that around on the gadget of our choice, and then looking in detail at that and starting to question it. Through social media, we can have lots of different conversations with people that we could never have before on an international scale. My view of museum has massively changed. I've never really went to a museum before, so it's like the first time, and, and again, I'm getting more excited, and I just really want to learn more about the fossils. I guess to some people it's just a pot, but someone was using this thousands of years ago. Like, I know someone else touched it. I can almost kind of connect that time period. I get to see what they used. I can almost feel that they were there as well. So it's probably one of the most important things for me.